Welcome to City Market Watch, where we concisely unpack all you need to know on important topics. Joining me, Audrey Cheong, City Go Private Client Portfolio Counselor. Bumbaya. And I'm sure you have all the moves too. You will never know. Audrey, K pop is a fascinating, fascinating phenomenon, especially Blackpink. And I have to say, Michelle Yeoh's Best Actress win at the Oscars is also multiple versions of Just Historic. Sun is not just K-pop, but also Korean drama. A Squid Game still hold the record for most watched show. And when you think of the Korean film Parasite winning Best Picture and other multiple Academy Awards back in 2020, well, you do need to ask, what is going on? What is going on here, Audrey? Well, this is soft power, arguably at its best. What do you mean? Well, as American political scientist and former Assistant Secretary of Defense, Joseph Nye said, it's culture in places where it is attractive to others, it's political values when it lives up to them at home and abroad, and it's foreign policies when others see them as a legitimate and having moral authority. Or rather, soft power is the ability to obtain preferred outcomes by attraction rather than coercion or payment. And not to make generalizations about women, but as we celebrated International Women's Day on March 8th and Women's History Month last month, it's important to note the significant contributions that women add to investing. That said, Audrey, I think this is best coming from you. Happy to, son. Uh, from the Peterson Institute, organizations with 30% female leaders adds up to 6% to its net margin. From a Bank of America study, companies with more women managers consistently see lower earnings volatility. And from McKinsey, female leaders and diversity of leadership styles give companies a real competitive edge. And there is a consistent correlation between women on executive committees and corporate performance, just to name a few. Thanks, Audrey. So this is really quantifying the S in ESG. When you think about the UN's SDG or Sustainable Development Goals, there are 17 stated goals to transform our world. But a few of them like gender equality, decent work, quality education, or reduced inequalities are arguably less objective. But as we are detailing today, culture and soft power have incredible influence in terms of outcomes. Outcomes in terms of financial performance, of companies, and also investment outcomes. Audrey, what else comes to mind? Well, the most obvious one when I think of soft power, culture, and women is brands, brand reputation, and premium brands. Stop generalizing and stereotyping, son. I'm sure you're thinking about luxury brands and cosmetics. But it is more than that. It is about the loyalty that such soft power and culture brings. And it is the ability to attract and retain clients. And hence, as with previously mentioned studies and statistics, we see better, more consistent revenue and profitability. This is also a reflection of intellectual property and innovation, human capital, and organizational culture. We keep saying invest in quality companies. And the question is, how do you define that? Uh, is it just a company that pays a higher dividend and or grows its dividends? Now, if only it were that simple. I know you and I can think of a few companies or instruments that pay high dividends, but their total return is woefully disappointing. Well said, Audrey. When we think about all those qualities that are inspirational and aspirational, we shouldn't discount these for what they are. Another great quote from Joseph Nye, when we can get others to admire your ideals and to want what you want, you do not have to spend as much on sticks and carrots to move them in your direction. Whilst I have to say, China's wolf warrior diplomacy seems out of step, there is a lot across Asia that is incredibly attractive and teaches us and reminds us of the importance of appreciating soft culture. This is a fascinating topic, something which many clients are perturbed about and unconsciously asking. Join us for our podcast on this topic as we dive deeper and ask, 
how else to think about quality companies and how can we all build longer term conviction and confidence in investment strategies. Thank you and please speak to your City Gold or City Gold private client relationship manager about further opportunities.